Good morning, Rangers. Today is Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. I'm Maria. And I'm Malin. And, and welcome, welcome back, back to CTV. CTV. Rangers, the deadline for exemptions is tonight at 11.59 p.m. Students in grades 9 and 10 may be exempt in up to three core classes. Students in grade 11 may be exempt in up to four core classes. And students in grade 12 may be exempt in all classes if they meet criteria. Core classes are English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. Students can exempt more than one of the same core class. Now on to a clip from Teacher Appreciation Week. Hey, I'm Natalie. And this is Noah. And we're here to ask students which teacher they appreciate the most. Who am I here with? Sasha. And which teacher do you appreciate the most? Coach Bernstein, because he's really funny. Uh, my favorite teacher is Mr. Moreno. Why? Uh, he's really chill and he's an easy grader. <laughs> Okay, Adrian, which teacher do you appreciate the most? Miss Vadia. Why? Because she's the best teacher I've ever had. She's W at teaching. You know, I just love Miss Vadia. Which teacher do you appreciate the most? Uh, Miss Jackson. Why? Because Miss Jackson just like the goat. Like, she's like mad, nice, and funny. And like, she tells funny stories. And she's like really chill too. I appreciate Miss Dunn the most. Why? Because she's really sweet and she explains everything to all of us. So Natalie, you've been asking everybody else, but who's your favorite teacher? My favorite teacher is Ms. Dunn because she really prepared us for AP uh, tests and I realize now why we did all those different techniques and stuff because uh, the next couple of weeks are going to be stressful trying to get ready for the AP test. We love you Ms. Dunn. Thanks guys. In February, the F equals MA exam was hosted where 30 students attempted to achieve this year's qualifying score of 14 out of 25. Congratulations to the five testers on the screen. Of those five, Leo Yu achieved a bronze level and Ariane Bora achieved gold. Now onto our senior spotlight clip with Alyssa Serrano. Uh, hi, my name is Alyssa Serrano. My name is Gavin Mundy and I'm the theater director here at Clements. Mr. Hodgson. I'm really only a part of one extracurricular and that's theater. It's definitely kept me busy, which I think is important in high school. Um, it's good to be involved. And then also it's given me like a lot of people that I really care about. And I'm still friends with like people who have graduated, um, people who are still going to be here when I'm graduated, but uh, kind of like a family. So, yeah. I nominated Alyssa for Senior Spotlight because she has led the troupe this year, uh, because she's had uh, an amazing year on stage, because she directed a show. Uh, because she was the captain of our comedy sports team. Uh, there's so many different things that she's accomplished throughout the course of this year. What you learn in high school is a lot about other people. And so I think like going forward, I probably will be more understanding of people. Like, I don't know, at some point we were all high school kids who were just kind of lost. So I guess it's like humanity, like you believe in humanity a little bit. So yeah. Alyssa is amazing, super talented, and I think that she's learned a lot. Um, I don't know if it's from me or not, um, but I, I, I do think that uh, she's a, a, a great kid and she's going to do a lot in, in the rest of her life. I think Alyssa has discovered that she actually is quite good at this and she now has the confidence to go on and do this at the college level and maybe even perhaps beyond that. Hopefully I will major in pre-nursing and musical theater. I will hopefully be going to Texas Women's, um, but it's still kind of up in the air right now. Take a deep breath. It's never that deep. It's AP season right now, and I know it's all like really crazy, and the grades feel like you're not gonna go to college if you don't get that one amazing like five, I think, on your AP, I don't know. But it'll all be okay, I promise. Thanks guys, now onto weather with Oliver. Good morning, Commerce Raiders. Take a look at our Tuesday's weather. After an unusually cool morning, it was 65 when we were showing up to school, we're going to have ourselves a pretty average day weather-wise with a high of 91 right around the average for this time of year. And we're hitting ourselves a low of 74 late tonight. We saw some clouds earlier this morning, a slight drizzle too, but we're not going to be seeing any more for the remainder of the day. Right now, perfectly clear skies over the entire greater Houston area now. And of course, means we're going to have ourselves a 0% chance of rain here in Sugarland. So, pretty good weather coming up for us Raiders. This is all of the to CTV, and that was your Sugarland weather. Thanks, Oliver. Friendly reminder that Senior Walk is May 20th. Please scan the QR codes around the building to sign up. Congrats to the following students for their performance on the National Latin Exam this year. And all, there were 27 students who scored well enough to earn recognition from the organization. Good job, guys. Now, on to World News with Emily. Good morning, Rangers. I'm Emily with your World News. From CNN, 
Protesters took the streets of several cities across Israel along Saturday, wanting the release of all hostages held in Gaza, along with the resignation of the Israeli Prime Minister and with early elections to be held. Families of hostages held in Gaza also took part in a anti-government protest, waving Israeli flags and holding up signs with the images of hostages, calling the government to bring them home alive. From CBS, the strongest geomagnetic storm in more than 20 years has slammed the Earth on Friday with explosions of plasma and magnetic fields, causing radio blackouts and the northern lights to extend to the southern U.S. Officials have reported that it won't be over yet. That's all for your World News Rangers. Now back to the anchors. Thanks, Emily. Senior Spirit Week starts today. Today is a walk down memory lane by wearing your favorite CHS gear. Tomorrow is walk like a senior citizen, so dress like a senior citizen. Now on to our Senior Spotlight with Caitlin Lamb. Hi, my name is Caitlin Lamb. I'm a senior at Clemens High School and I'm the team captain of the golf team and editor-in-chief of the school newspaper. I am going to George Fox University up in Oregon and I will be majoring in business. Being editor-in-chief of the CHS Roundup was a really great experience for me to get more leadership um, opportunities and just learn more about the school in general. I got a lot of opportunities to get closer with the student body and promote the newspaper at the same time. Um, as well as being editor-in-chief, I'm also a sports photographer and I mainly do football and basketball. It's been a great experience these last three years, you know, taking photos. I got to be on the sidelines and like be face to face with all the action. It was really great seeing all the students cheer in the stands during football games and basketball games. It was their energy was way different from the stands. Caitlin's just one of those students um, that you know is an example for other students to follow. Uh, she's been a great uh, leader in the classroom. She's been a great mentor for other students. And she's been a great assistant for me. Uh, she keeps me on track as well as the other students. And so, you know, just seeing how she's performed in competitions, how whenever uh, we have a situation comes up, because when you're dealing with a newspaper, uh, you're going to have situations that come up that even um, teachers and maybe principals have to deal with and so it's been great seeing Caitlin take on those uh, responsibilities and be a, a true uh, professional. I started playing golf when I was in second grade and then I got serious in seventh grade. My first two years were kind of on and off you know I did struggle a bit um, with my game for the first two years, but you know, with my help, with help of my upperclassmen, they really helped me boost my confidence and my game as a whole. As a golfer, she's worked really hard. No, I don't know a whole lot of people that work harder than her and, and what she does on her own time and all the other stuff she does. Um, but it's because she puts the time in. She studies the golf courses we're going to play. She listens to advice and at least tries it. If it doesn't work, she'll try something else. But she's become a great golfer, uh, and I know she's going to play great at the next level. Words of advice for Caitlin is just keep being Caitlin. Don't, don't change, just be who you are because uh, we know that we love you and you're awesome. Don't change a bit. Thanks, Caitlin. That's all we have for today, Rangers. I'm Maria. And I'm Maylin. Bye! Bye.